Shock and mourning. That's what a North Bay community is going through tonight after two teenage girls were gunned down in the street over the weekend. With the latest on the investigation and the outpouring of grief from the community, here's our NBC Barry's Terry McSweeney. Dozens of candles and flowers and stunned sadness at a memorial for the two teenagers, one 19, the other 17, shot and killed right here on the 400 block of Riverside Drive Saturday night about 8 o'clock. Joseph tells us he knew both of these young victims and they were something special. These weren't just two random strangers, you know. These are, we're talking about two strong, like, females, you know. These aren't just two randoms. This is some people with family ties, you know, and like, and we stay strong, you know. Right here was where I was set up. Brandon Perez was working on his car just down the street and had a clear view of it all when the gunfire shattered the silence Saturday night. I hear the gunshots and then I see the girl sprint into the car and speed off um, in the car, like goes down the street. It went right by you. Yeah. Perez ran to the scene and saw one of the victims bleeding profusely. She was caught in the fence and by the time I got there, she was, you know, already, like, you know, her final breaths were, you know, being taken. It was, yeah, it was something else for sure. Napa police investigators are saying that this was an isolated incident, but not a random shooting. And they're hoping someone can come forward with surveillance video of the incident and of that black getaway car to help them solve their first homicide since 2022. Police say they won't release the name of the 19 year old until Thursday's autopsy and of course won't release the name of the juvenile victim. Joseph says he doesn't have all the answers for the tragedy that took the lives of his friends, but he feels certain of one thing. As a local, I would like to say this is not gang related. Yeah, the area and the circumstances, it's easy to spin the narrative, but this is not gang related. This was with brawl between two girls, right? And someone took it too far. One of the people stopping by here tonight, a friend of the father of one of the victims and a longtime resident of Napa. This is devastating for everybody in town. Napa is very uh, tight knit community. We're all connected in some way. In Napa, Terry McSweeney, NBC Bay Area News.